Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on Brand Channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nine seven in class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to look at flow direction and then we are going to use them um, ArcGIS for the tutorial. In the context of hydrology and water resources, flow direction refers to the path that water takes as it moves from one location to another, right? Go typically from the natural slope or gradient of the terrain which can infer from maybe higher to what um, lower points right good so now the direction is influenced by various factors the topography gravity water table obstructions and channels and then the water sheets and basins right good now in trying to determine the flow direction you would need the topo map digital elevation model and of course what a gis right good now um this is the step oh yeah these are the steps to use for um calculating the flow direction now we need the dam we need to fill the dam calculate the flow direction and then also calculate the flow accumulation and then we can proceed for the right good now there is a flow direction code yeah yeah flow direction codes now these codes are very important because we are going to see them as our output as we progress on arches so we have 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 and then 256 this 256 serves as a raster from which the water flows right because now it can flow towards this direction this direction this direction this direction down to this direction right good now you know this is the north this is the east this is the south and this is the west so this will definitely be what your northeast this will be your southeast this will be your southwest and then this will be your northwest right good now that is what you can see here the um the direction of the flow we have this is typically represented as one of eight possible directions in a grid so this is the grid so we have the north the northeast the east the south is the south the southwest the west and what the northwest right so we are going to see these values as we progress so this is another representation of what we have seen earlier right good so let's now come to um Adjust. we can decide to modify this symbology to something more pleasing okay let's invert let's invert good so the the bluish region represents maybe some water bodies and then this reddish part represents some higher elevations right good so we just um, add this um waterway to give better perspective of um, the terrain so let's come to the special analyst tool under which we go to hydrology and then the first thing is we fill our dam so ensure to always um, use the help that is provided so that it can help you um, understand what each tool means and the parameter we are selecting for each of the two right so the input will be that um, digital elevation model we have then by default let's leave it at the um, output surface raster that um, ArcGIS has um, provided so we click on ok good the fill has been executed successfully and going forward we are going to be using um, this fill that has just been outputted right so let's still invert it so that um good the next thing is for us to now calculate the flow direction using this tool so the input um surface raster will be the field them and then we leave everything as default and we click on ok good so we have an output right good we have an output now um before we proceed ensure to always look at each of the options and then see the help right good so that's what i want to show you so we have what the flow direction output and then you can see those values we saw earlier 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 right good so now each of these points represents what the direction of flow so when you have one it's talking about the east when you have two it's talking about what the southeast when you have four it's talking about the south 8 16 then maybe 64 which is what the north and then 128 which is what the north is right because so now this is what 
each of these um, values represent right now for us to proceed further let's also calculate the flow accumulation now for the flow accumulation it's um creates a raster of accumulated flow into each cell so let's see the input will be the flow direction then since we don't have um input weight and then the output data type is float then the flow direction type is the 8 right now if we leave every other thing as default we can click on ok good so um the flow accumulation result is out as well now having gotten that result we can decide to modify some stuff or leave it as default as it is um we can now come up to other options like um, the stream order and then the stream to feature right so let's see we have the stream order so it assigns a numeric order to the segments of a raster representing branches of a linear network right good so the flow accumulation the flow direction and then and then we can click on ok good so we have the stream order um, output right good so if we put this out and then we also put out the field them okay we still have one here we also put this out we are now going to have just what the stream order right good so when we zoom in we are going to see what different um, directions right good so we can now go to stream to fissure so it converts a raster representing a linear network to features representing the linear network right good so that's what it does so we have to now convert it to convert what the raster we have there to vectors right good then the stream order and the flow direction and we click on ok good so the stream to feature has been run um, successfully and then we can now see the vector of the raster of the stream order right good so we have the attributes table right good that shows the grid code then the shape length for each of those um, stream orders so if we look at our note we can see the application in flood prediction and management water resource management environmental protection and then um, urban planning right good so we believe we have shown you exhaustively how to um, calculate your stream order alongside um, flow direction flow accumulation then the filling of what your digital elevation model so we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye